Good evening, everyone. Or morning or afternoon, whatever your time is for you. It's nighttime for me. <laughs> um, got another Timu haul, and I've got a uh, free code. So if you can, uh, for new Timu app users, 8877 free. Download the app, type the code into the search bar, and claim your giveaway within 24 hours. So I got the uh, holographic ghost face earring mold or pendant mold because it's on the bigger side. It could be either side, either way. On Timu, it was 2.24. Amazon did not have anything that I could find similar. And then I got this holographic, they call it an earring, but that is way too big for earrings, at least in my opinion, but some people like that. Oh wow, there's some dents in there. Huh, I didn't see that when I took it out of the package just now. I don't know if you can see the, the dent marks right there. But these are holographic. They're called holographic uh, spider mold earring 314. Amazon did have um, the exact same one for 690. This is the Halloween Spooky Series Mold for $4.98, and there are uh, keychains, a couple of different designs on here. Gravestones, the Scarecrow Pumpkin, Haunted House, a couple more different gravestones, and some sort of tree thing. Not quite sure. Tree Monster House, maybe. <laughs> um, that was $4.98 on Timu, and Amazon did not have anything similar. And this one was, they called it the Halloween Cat Pendant Mold, but it's like three cats, a couple of bats, and then like two monsters. So we've got, let's see if I can get my hands under here. See your shapes. There's a bat up there, two monsters up top. That one looks kind of like a zombie there. Oh, it could be like the Jersey Devil or Chupacabra, kind of sort of depends on however you don't do them up, or regular devil and hanging bat. And these are keychains, another bat, flying bat. And then we got three cats at the bottom. And let's see, this was $4.98 on Timu and no similar on Amazon. Okay, got a couple of little uh, earring molds. This is a coffin with ghosts earring mold. So it's the shape of a coffin with uh, ghost designs on it. This was 98 cents on Timu. Amazon had uh, all of these plus another style for uh, $8.99. So six of these for $8.99 on Amazon. I'll set them there. Let's see, that was the ghost one. This is the cat one. 
turn it so you can see. A couple of different cat designs in there. And like I said, these are all 98 cents from Timu. And this is the witches. Some of them look like they have stuff in there. They had marks on them like they've been used or something. And one of them I don't know if I'll be able to use because it came up bent. But I'm going to try the um, hot water method and see if that works. If not, then it'll be going back. That was the witches, and then we have the spiders. And the bats, and the bats is the one that is curled up. And these were 98 cents. I only got five designs. Um, they didn't have the sixth one when I was getting them. Um, they may now, I don't know, but let's see. The next one was it's the uh, picture display stand where you make your own. Uh, um, holder for pictures. Pretty sure this is bigger than the other one that I had gotten. And this was two forty nine on Timu and eleven ninety nine for the exact same uh, size on Amazon. Yeah, I don't have, see how they call this a pendant mold because you can see this is big, <laughs> but it is. Um, a cobweb design here and it has two little spiders and they have spots so you can hang them in there or one of them does the other one doesn't huh but uh, so you can make your own little cobweb in any colors you want and your own little spiders to add to it and it has a spot to actually hang it so that would be a wall hanging I can't see that being <laughs> being a uh, a pendant of any kind because that is just way big. <laughs> and this was three forty eight on Timu and nine ninety five on Amazon. This is a turtle tray. Let's see if I can get them sideways in here so you can see them and it is 8 inches by 5.9 inches approximately uh, $4.49 on Timu and $7.95 on Amazon and I have a bat one bat tray mold it's a smaller version of one I bought years ago from Amazon um, but this one was $4.49 on Timu. It is 4.9 inches from here to here and 7.9 inches from edge to edge over here. It was $4.49 on Timu and $8.99 on Amazon for identical. Got this brain mold. It's the biggest one I've actually been able to find, and it actually has the stand. <laughs> Unlike um, I bought a Jello one years ago, and there's no way to hold it up. It's literally just rounded bottom. 
And I'm like, how are you supposed to hold it to keep it the liquid until it gels? So it's still sitting in my closet, never used. But this is uh, the skull, I'm sorry, the brain mold. It's $249 on Timu and $342 on Amazon. This is a, one of those freshy molds. It's the skull, or skeleton, they call it skull, but it's skeleton hand peace sign. And I'm not sure which way is going to show up as upright or not on yours, but if you can see the details in there. So it's a skeleton hand peace sign, and it can be you know used as a freshy or candle. I'm going to be using it most likely as... Uh, resin. I may later, you know, do candle. And it was $3.59 on Timu and $8.99 on Amazon. This you can't see from the outside, but there's little eyes, the feet sticking forward, the hands come down by the side. They call it a horror doll. It looks like a voodoo doll. Um, it was $4.49 on Timu and Amazon had it for $8.99. <coughs> Excuse me. This one they call a gingerbread house and it was a two-part mold or is a two-part mold. So you've got sides, tree parts, bird, cat, and a person, window, snowman, some more tree, looks like a witch, or I think they're calling that Santa Claus, but looks like it could be a witch to me. So it could be, you know, multi-purpose. You don't have to necessarily do this as a, a Christmas one. It can be done as Halloween, depending on the colors and stuff you use, or, you know, generally any other time of the year. That's that side. And then there's the roof and the other walls. They had that for $8.99 on Timu and $8.99 on Amazon. Achoo, excuse me. So sorry. And I got this one. It's the crow sitting on a skull. And I have plans on making a 3D version of this because I finally found a large enough bird uh, mold. Um, that uh, I'm going to, when I unmold it, going to see if I can't get it to glue onto the head of uh, one of my 3D skeletons so I can have a 3D version of this instead of just you know like a flat wall hanging type version this was $3.59 on Timu and $11.99 on Amazon. And I got this crow skull for $1.78 on Timu and they had a similar one on Amazon for $6.49. This one was an actual, both of these in the same. It is a cat hiding behind a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. 
and it looks like there's a tree or a feather sticking up on the side and it's a pretty good size mold and it came with this one which this is the kind of sort of like the pumpkin head he's got the evil grin his hands are sitting on his I guess chin that's his hands coming up there And this was $16.48 for both of these on Timu, and they did not have anything similar on Amazon. grab a glove because I don't know what those materials are made from. I have a latex allergy, so I have to be careful when I get sent things and they have gloves and stuff already in there. But I got this to try out the uh, Timu's version of, uh, they call it Fast Cure Epoxy. So we shall see. And there is those finger pieces in there, some um, other stuff in there. Comes with some little mixing cups. One set of one or two sets. Let's see. One set of gloves. A couple of wood stir sticks. Two pipettes. Oh, another wood stir stick. So that's four wood stir sticks. Two pipettes. And these, which are usually latex. So that's why I got to be careful. I'll have to sanitize these bottles later. And these are going straight to the trash now. And I don't know about these, so these are going to the trash. I can't take chances on that. I'll just set this back in here for right now until I can get it cleaned off. Set it back in. And that was part A and part B. It said it's fast cure, but it doesn't say, you know, information on exactly what amount of time that is. Um, it was under the special deal, so it was 16 ounces for $9.24 on Timu. Amazon has similar for $17.39 for 16 ounces. I think it was 16 ounces, similar. I got these, let's see, I can take this off now, because my hand is sweating, and I'll sanitize my hands right quick too to make sure there's no residual on there. I got these 12 rolls of Halloween washi tape for $4.48 on Timu. Amazon had the exact same ones for $11.99. So let's see if you can see the designs.
let's see, got a couple of stamps here, um, Halloween stamps, let's see which one's which. So these are stamps. This was eight designs for two ninety eight on Timu, and uh, Amazon had this exact same one for seven ninety nine. The next one was the uh, cat stamps. It was a dollar ninety eight on Timu, and Amazon did not have anything similar. Has a good sized cat on there and a witch's hat, and then a couple of sayings. The other stamps is this one and there's eight designs on here it's 298 on Timu and 79 7.99 on Amazon for the exact same so those will be some fun things to play with See what am I missing here? Twelve roll stamps. Canvas cat. So quick tea light. Okay. So I got this snowflake tea light candle holder. Holds a tea light candle there. You know the electric kind. It takes a little battery. This was four ninety eight on. Timu, and they actually had another one with a different two di two different designs in these two. Um, Amazon had these two along with the other two for eleven ninety nine. They didn't have it in singles like this one, and I didn't like really like the other design, so I only got this one. Got a couple of stickers, spider venom, bone powder, hex and beast, eye of newt, dementor, halloween, vampire blood, thestral, werewolf, hex and beast again, pumpkin spice liqueur. So you can um, use little glass bottles, make your own potions. For whether it be Halloween decor or actual, uh, I know the Dollar Tree sells some that are about a little over an inch long, little glass bottles with the, a cork on there. And you can use um, like distilled water and mica powders or food coloring to color it. Mica powders give that, you know, cool uh, um, swirling effect. I'll have to show some of the ones I did for my bedroom decor. I got some bigger bottles in a couple of different styles. And I was needing a few more labels to go on some and maybe some ideas to make some other things too to add to it. So that's what these were. These were apothecary stickers for $1.79. Um, Amazon had similar $4.99 but for $50. This is only $30. The next two are Bigfoot feet with a design on the inside. So this one has like the night sky and this one has like mountains and a lake behind them. 
and they had other designs, but these are the two that I liked, so these are the ones I got. These were $2.98 each. Amazon has them for $9.99 for both of them. And if the number's on it, I don't know if it coincides with what Timu has. This is 7824 and 7826. But they did have two other designs as well, but like I said, I didn't like those ones, so I didn't get those ones. Okay, this is Holographic Star Glitter. It was 47 cents on Timu. They didn't have, you know, just this style in this approximate size. Um, they had, you know, multiple colors and sh different shapes and uh, stuff in, um, on Amazon, so I didn't have anything to compare for pricing on that one. That was 47 cents for Timu. Okay. This is the potion bottle mold that I saw um, Claire's Crafty Corner. She got hers from Amazon, I'm pretty sure, I think. She might have got it from Timu, I'm honestly not really sure. But on um, Timu, this was $3.97 for a single one. Amazon has $12.99, but you get three of the exact same mold. So if you wanted to do a lot of them, um, it's about the same price other than about six cents cheaper if you were to buy three of these individual if you wanted them. But you have to wait a longer time to get them from Timu. Um, so like I said, this was $3.97 on Timu for one, and Amazon had them $12.99 for three of the exact same mold. And these are supposed to be food safe molds, but I'm not using them for food, I use them for resin. Different kinds of resin. Well, this one I wouldn't use UV, but you could use polyurethane if you, you know, pre-coat the inside and then back it with polyurethane or um, two-part epoxy. I wouldn't do the UV because the light won't. It's very difficult to get UV. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult to get UV to cure um, on colored molds. Next is the dragonfly mold. This guy was $3.49 on Timu. Has a lot of detail into the wings. Has the antenna and body, so that could be a cute little wall hanger. Um, was $3.49 on Timu, and Amazon had the exact same one for $6.85. I got another different sized and style uh, raven skull mold. So that will do the raven skull head. This is $2.68 on Timu, and Amazon had it for $8.99, but you get two of them for $8.99. Okay, these are the next ones, if I can keep that one from sliding out. This is a hanging bat sign mold. Sorry, I'm shaking here. Running out of energy to hold things up and stuff. Dizzy from standing. And he's got a spot to hang him and a spot here that he will hang from. Hopefully that'll fit because it looks like it might be a tight spot. I don't know. If it is, you can always drill your own spot in there for it. 
I'm hoping you can see the details. There's an owl on the tree. There's a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern with a witch's hat. There's a like little mini graveyard scene. Um, some ghostly eyes, another tree, stars on this one. This was $2.99 on Timu and Amazon did not have a similar. And it came with um, a couple of these different colored little uh, pole chains that can, you know, once you make it, you push it through and then you just clip it like you do on anybody that's redone, you know, for ceiling fans and stuff. That's These are common or been in the military. These are very common. <laughs> Unless they've changed it since I was in, but that's been a long, long time ago, so. So they're just little chains, a couple of different colors. And I got two different styles. One second. Please let that be the last one. Okay. This one, they called it the hanging skeleton, even though it's the skull head um, mold. And it was $2.99 also. And I suspect you could probably hang, you know, change them up and hang either one in, in there. You just might have to angle it different because of the way the cross sticking up out of that spot. But it has a spot for it to hang here and hang up here so you're not having to drill anything. It has a bat on there, a ghost on there. Looks like some creepy branches and a cross. A few little star symbols, designs, and of course, you know, the skull for the center. Next one is a irregular shaped coaster set with uh, supposed to have like a, a natural live edge look. And they're all slightly shaped differently. And on the backs, I noticed they're actually numbered. There's one, two, three, and four. I can get these without dropping them. That one has number one. That one has number two. That one's number three. And that one's number four. And that was a set. This was $4.94 on Timu. Amazon had them for $10.99. And sometime back, I just have to find where, I had bought the tray mold for this. So I already have, um, it's kind of sort of, I don't think it was perfectly round. I think it was kind of sort of more of an oval shaped um, mold, but it has the live edge like this. And they, at the time, they were out of the coasters, so I didn't get the coasters then. But they had them this time, so that's why I got them. $4.94 on Timu and $10.99 on Amazon for the exact set. These little cuties, for those of us who love lizards and reptiles and stuff, they're chameleons. There's a couple of different shapes of chameleons on here. I'm going to have fun with those. I love reptiles, especially snakes and lizards, and frogs, you know, all of them, including dragons and bearded dragons, <laughs> blue tongue skinks, etc. Geckos and all. So. I saw this and had to get it. It was, they call it the Chameleon Keychain Mold. It is $4.49 on Timu. Amazon had it for $9.99 when I looked it up. This is a little 3D ghost mold. It's 
on Timu. Amazon had one similar. I think it theirs, according to the website, said that it was supposed to be a little bigger, but from the shape it looked identical. It was just their measurements measured different, measured bigger on the one on Amazon. So Timu Ghost Mold was four ninety nine. Amazon had similar for twelve ninety nine. And I need to keep that one out separate because I'll be making that for my granddaughter soon. And this one is a dragon with the wings out on the side on top of a skull head. And um, when I went to get price and information, it is currently sold out. It was $12.99 on Timu and Amazon has the exact same one for $29.83 and you can see it's a good size mold. This will probably be a pain to get out when it comes time but I'm gonna have fun trying to get colors down into there. <laughs> but that might be one you know you could do um, with uh, like resin creed or plaster or even the polyurethane and when you take it out then you could color it. So, you know, there are other options when things are difficult to color in, in the mold. And I have silicone pieces coming off on my hand and they're stuck. Sorry. <laughs> I get sidetracked easily. But, yeah, this one is going to be uh, fun to do. The next one is a little spider tea light holder. So he holds, you know, a little tea light here on his back after you create him. I'm hoping I'm in view. Um, spider, spider, spider. He was $249 on Timu, $899 through Amazon for the exact same one. I got a couple of pastes to try out. Um, they had a five uh, color paste and they all came with these little, I guess you put together spoons. They'll probably get trashed and I use regular spoons because I don't want it breaking off trying to stir it up every time because it did mention um, that it needed to be mixed well before use and they're specifically for resin. Uh, resin metallics art paste mix well before use 50 grams do not ingest keep out of the reach of children this one is Titanic Seas this one was Paris blue and these were individual this is dream blue Make sure I don't lose the names on them. And that one's Brilliant Blue. I wish they had it on the top so I wouldn't have to flip it upside down. And this is a Pale Blue. And they actually look like, you know, they're metallic powders. So these are going to be fun and interesting to try and play with. Um, they were $5.48 each. For those. No, and anybody knows that pastes is expensive, so that's for uh, 50 grams is a really good deal for that amount. So I'm excited to try these out soon. Last one, I got some diamond dust glitter UV resin in the purple shade, and there's six in here, but there's like only 10 milliliters each. It was $4.99, so it's like maybe a one or two. You might get a few, depending on what size, you know, earrings, small little jewelry pendant pieces that you're making out of them. 
I'm going to use them making a few Halloween pendants and earrings out of these and try them out. Or I might use it in something else, I'm not sure, because I just realized that my pendant molds, my Halloween pendant molds that I have are not clear, except for the ones that I just picked up. So I actually might use these to try these guys out, other than the one that's twisted up. So let's see if stacking weight on them will get it to go flat down. And I do believe that is all I'm going to be doing, um, which will probably come out after this. I have these three cat um, molds. There's a witch cat. Let's see. I think that's... That's... All right. One of these is... Vamp looks like it might be a vampire cat, a witch cat, and I think the other one might be like, you know, a devil or demon cat design. And my granddaughter's picked out um, colors, and she loves doing, when I do anything glow in the dark, she's already claimed, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek, this. This is coming out later this month um, with Claire's Crafty Corner. And there'll be a few others in there. Um, but my granddaughters picked these three colors, fuchsia, green, and blue, and they do glow in the dark. These ones don't glow for very long, um, because they're, you know, some of the cheaper glow-in-the-darks. But long enough to, you know, for her to, to enjoy and like, and I use them in, I'm trying to use, actually, pretty much all of my cheap glow-in-the-dark uh, up so I could have space for other things to go in my uh, rack over there. But I'll be doing these here shortly, along with the little ghost mold, which I might do probably just white powder or white pigment paste in him. My granddaughter's decided she wants to be a ghost for Halloween, and I've started on um, making her costume. And my husband's helping me on how to do hand sewing because don't have a working sewing machine. And I took shop classes in school. <laughs> Carpentry, bricklaying, draw, uh, um, drafting class, and electrical engineering, things like that in school. So... I'm not much of a cook and can't really sew very well, so he's, I will be doing it, but he's going to show me how to do, you know, some simple hand stitches. Um, I did learn years ago when I was very, very young, like cross stitch and a few little things like that, latch key. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you call it, latch key, latch hook, latch hook, where you make the cute little carpet designs that you hang on the wall. <laughs> um... And my aunt um, taught me how to do cross stitch, and I did, you know, a couple of those when I was younger. But I haven't done really anything other than a few things in my room that I've. My husband's helped me, you know. He has to keep showing me because it's time in between, and I can't remember how to start the stitch and stop the stitch and work back and forth is not too bad. But trying to keep it so it doesn't wrinkle up together. <laughs> I'm learning, but uh, it's going to be fun. She's she's um, going to be a ghost. She didn't want her head covered, so I'm going to make a little uh, see-through kind of hood. So if she wants to put it up, she can, and it'll be attached. If she doesn't, she can pull it back, and it can, you know, be a half hood, or it can cover her complete face. So it's however she wants, however she feels. Um, it's going to be, you know, dark and stuff at night when her and her dad are going, my son, her dad are going around trick-or-treating while I stay at the house handing out candy till she comes back. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move some things around, 
try and get this uploaded and the information and the links not to this set but to the other ones that I did earlier will be added probably tomorrow afternoon because I won't I have um, some stuff I got to do and I won't be able to be on to um, get it put on immediately but I will have the descriptions to everything added later so thank you all for watching I appreciate all my viewers uh, all my subscribers um, don't forget to like subscribe comment I loved uh, hearing and talking with everybody and I do my best to get back to everybody I have days where it's I don't do much at all and I'm, I might be you know a little slow on uh, replying but I do try to make sure I reply to every single person I value everybody's comments and you know tips and helpful information and I love watching everybody else's videos too on days when I literally just don't have the energy or feeling well enough to to craft I'm always watching several other people's uh, channels like Marvelous Artsy and Beat and Crazy Custom Creations, Glitz and Glitter, Daniel Cooper, Claire's Crafty Corner, um, Crafty Shenanigans, Many Scenes, uh, Artists Resin and Dragon Creation, UCO, dot, dot co dot UK, I think, or something like that. Uh, my apologies. Amy's Resin Corner and Southern Lady. And speaking of... Um, I'm pretty sure it was, I just said her name, Crafty Shenanigans that did these also in Glow in the Dark recently, and I had already had them set out and was planning on doing it. I just didn't know what colors my granddaughter wanted until she came over yesterday, so I asked her, I pulled out some colors and asked her what colors she wanted, and at first she said blue, green, and yellow, and I was like, you're favorite colors pink she says no I'm like you always wear pink and when you I ask you what colors outfits you want you always pick the pink one Are you sure you don't want pink and she's like no I want blue green yellow until I showed her the pink one the fuchsia one and she says I want that one Oma because that's what she calls me as Oma Oma is German for grandma um, and we have lots of grandparents and Mimi's and nannies and nanas and grandmas and great grandmas so um, I've opted to be called Oma since you know she was uh, little and could start talking so that's what she calls me is Oma um, I think that's about it I'll get this uh, uploaded tonight and like I said I will do my best to try and get the information added later tomorrow or possibly the next day um, so please be patient I will get it added if I forget yeah just send me a message asking hey where's the, the information I will get it added on there thank you all y'all have a wonderful evening day night